Picking back up Algebra 2, we're going to be doing the next three questions, all breaking down radicals or exponential forms. Uh, for number 12, we've got the cube root of 48 divided by the cube root of 2. Honestly, the best way to think of this is to write the cube root of 48 over 2 in one radical, writing that as a fraction. 48 divided by 2, by the way, I'm sure you can all know quickly, is 24. So our next step is really wondering if we could break 24 down with a division tree, prime division tree. Try 2, 24 divided by 2 is 12. Try 2 again, 12 divided by 2 is 6. Try 2 one last time, 6 divided by 2 is 3. So this cube root of 24 is really, if we break this down, 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And uh, what we need to do is look for groups of 3, because it's a third root. You can see we do have three twos all in a row here. That means pull a two out, leave the rest alone. The only thing we didn't circle is a three. So our final answer is two times the cube root of three. For number 13, we're gonna apply that two thirds power to the 27. We'd get 27 to the two thirds. Here, we'll have 3 times 2 thirds, powers to powers, with that C. D is raised to the 6th power, but powers to powers get multiplied. So what you're seeing is you'll have 3 times 2 thirds and 6 times 2 thirds. If fractions have given you any issues, please do just get some assistance with the calculator. Go 3 times 2 thirds. You can see that would be a 2, so this would be c to the second. With our d, we can say 6 times 2 thirds. And 6 times 2 thirds, you can get very, very quickly to be a 4. Now you might notice I left off the 27 to the 2 thirds. Believe it or not, you can do that with the calculator as well. 27, raise it all up to the 2 divided by 3 power. What do you get? Real quickly, you get a 9. So without too much work, you'd get 9 c squared d to the 4th. Last one on this video. Uh, we have 2 5th root of x minus 9 5th root of x. These are like terms. And... Uh, it's kind of uh, just uh, combining the 2 minus 9. 2 minus 9, you get negative 7. Keep that fifth root of x. Fifth root of x won't simplify. Plain and simply, we're done.